Are you ready for revision seven of the Pelton turbine? If you saw my last video, then well, you know this design wasn't very strong. It's pretty thin material. And well, on both sides, they let go. One broke all the way off. So on this one, I went ahead and beefed everything up. It's much thicker on this part. This has an extrusion over here on the inside as well, which I actually ended up grinding off. So it might contact a little bit, just in case you haven't seen it. I think that's a 36 tooth turbine there, or turbine, tooth um, pulley. And that's a 20 tooth pulley right there. So it's almost a two to one ratio. And this is a 350 watt claim or 250 watt claimed 12 volt motor. So we're gonna test it with two hoses. And like we tested this one with two hoses, this was tested with a splitter off of one hose. I actually have a second spigot on my house. So I've gone ahead and picked up another hose. So you can see the two hoses running in, one runs all the way around the house, one runs right here. So now we'll actually be testing this with the flow of probably almost two hoses. I'm assuming there's gonna be a slight pressure drop. And to test that, we have a pressure gauge. But I'm assuming because of the flow, it'll have to drop at least a little bit, but I don't think it'll be substantial. So it'll be a much better test than last time. And hopefully we can break our power record. So let's go ahead and hook it up, see the pressure reading and go from there. Maybe we'll do a flow reading. I have a flow meter as well. So we can go through and see what we're working with. All right, we got hose number one hooked up. You can see pressure built in the hose versus the other one. Let's see what kind of pressure we get. I think this is a 50 foot hose. Do this one handed here. There we go. We are getting about, I'd say about 72 PSI right now. And I guess I'll just walk over and now turn on the other hose and let's see what this drops to. Because if I drop, if I open this one, the pressure will read probably almost zero. I mean, we can, we can test this theory real quick. Yeah, just because all the water is flowing right past it, so it can't build any pressure. It's more difficult to close with one hand. You can see it spikes to a little over 80. So now let's open the other hose. Let's point this one in a convenient location and then we'll crack it open and see what the drop is. I'm sure this hose isn't kinked at all. So we're just gonna go ahead and test this theory. If we leave the gauge, we actually don't have to turn the gauge one off now because it'll just sit there and hold pressure and change in value. So let's see how I can, I bet I'll do it like this. You guys are just gonna have to trust that I'm turning on the second one. All right, as soon as I get rid of some of that glare for you, let's see what kind of drop we get. That's fully open. So we're only seeing about 10, 10-ish 10 PSI drop. That's not bad at all. Now we have double the flow of water. So that's actually probably, in theory, it should make a good difference. And as long as this turbine, the Pelton turbine doesn't eat itself on the housing due to the new modifications, I think we might be working with something. So let's see how it does. You can hear, sometimes it hits, and I think it's because I only have one screw holding it in. So it applies an uneven force on it. So let's hook it up and see what it does. All right, now, so with the water on, it's on this one, I'll just have to turn the knob and then that one, the spigot's right there. So what I'll do is I'm gonna turn on the water on one side, we'll get a reading in the voltage, and then I'll turn on the second water source and we'll see how much the voltage changes there. And then we'll hook up our resistive heaters and we will see how much power we can make out of this. All right, let's start with this side and see how dry we can stay. I'm just good. I hope it doesn't grind because I'm just gonna turn this one on and dip. What you got for? Twenty three. 24. All right, I'm gonna turn on the second one, ready?
24, 25, 26. Now the turn is too long. I will say, and a lot of people have commented, that it, when it's spraying everywhere, it's not as efficient. It almost just passes right by. This one wasn't really spraying much water at all. That might not be the case when we put a load on it, but at least in that case, it wasn't bad. But as a 12 volt motor, we could just be maxing it out. So let's put a load on and work out our way up in load and see if we get any change on one nozzle versus two. So these are the 12 volt 25 watt heaters. The highest I've ever seen them do is 20, but that could be because our power source was only providing 20, but I have hooked them up together. So this time I'm gonna just start off with two of them together because, well, in theory, this should make more power than this ever has before. So, well, let's get this in here. I don't know what I'm doing. I want it on the other end of the wire. We're going to put it on this end of the wire, and then we're going to see. Here's something didn't right, look right there. Here we go. Now we got two heaters hooked up. Let's see how much power. Right as the sun's It'll be really easy to see the screen when the sun comes down. Ready? Mm -hmm. This one might spray a bit more. What do you want? Bolts or watts? Uh, I was just looking. I guess, yeah, I think that's because we have two heaters. And let's see if I pull one of these heaters off, how much the power will change. You can see it noticeably slows down, but it, now that'll be a perfect test. There's the free spin. Oh. Now I'm going to hook up the wires. Now I'm going to turn on the second water source and let's see how much the power comes up. Forty-five watts, eleven volts. What's it now? Forty-three watts, eleven volts. Oh. Can you hold this? So I have seen that before where when the belt loses a little bit of tension and it jumps around and causes the whole thing to shake. So I tightened up the belt and we're going to try it again because I really want 50 watts. I don't know. Let's see what we can do. We're pretty close. I don't know if we, I think this is a record. I don't think we've crossed this this point. So let's break another record. All right. Well, let's see with the belt uh, retighten. I got soaked on that one. I gotta move it on the table. It's been probably the most interesting. You know what? For the YouTube, I guess I'll do it. You guys better like and subscribe. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. I'm gonna let it, it's gonna start and I will tell you when to talk because I'm, we're getting there. Uh, okay, you're good. Well, as you can see, I'm actually relatively dry compared to what the other videos end up doing. Yeah, I mean this, don't, yeah, the, don't, don't look at this side, this side's, this side's not as good. 
but it's still not that warm out here. And if you guys want to see 50 watts, like, comment, subscribe, because your ideas are what's got us this far. We're almost to 50 watts. I think before the end of the year, we could hit 100. So what ideas do you guys have? Running, and also, you're gonna wanna go this way. The sun's behind you. Put it in the shadow. This could be it. I have seen that before. Did you hear the sound it made? Mm-hmm. I have seen this before when the uh, belt gets loose. I want to try that again. Because we're so close to 50 watts. Oh, it's recording. <laughs>